guys, welcome to the channel Scuba Travel and Adventure. Thomas here. Uh, it's a beautiful day, it's uh, time for another ride. Uh, my goal today uh, is to go to Abraham Lake. Um, it is uh, 237 kilometers from here to Abraham Lake. Yeah, that would be nice if I get there. I wish I would have left earlier, but um, I couldn't. My wife's supposed to go with me for that ride, and then she decided that she doesn't want to go. So a little bit of mishaps, and um, here I am uh, by myself riding later on. So let's not waste any more time, and I'll see you guys on the road. It has been a while again uh, since I was on a bike. Uh, I'd, uh, since we came back from Utah, I was on a bike only once uh, just to test out those uh, wind deflectors. And it wasn't a really long ride. I'm heading out to Abraham Lake. I never been there myself, so it's gonna be new to me. And uh, that lake looks uh, quite stunning during winter as uh, there's uh, under ice. You can see those bubbles forming. Uh, at least that's what I've seen on uh, pictures uh, while I was browsing that destination. Uh, I will have to probably make out a trip in the winter, of course, not a on a bike, uh, but I'm uh, gonna have to get there and uh, check it out for myself um, because a lot of people actually saying that uh, that's pretty cool. So we have a summer here finally in a full blast in Calgary. But at the same time, it is uh, quite a heat wave uh, because we are hitting temperatures every day uh, around 30 degrees. Uh, even at this moment, uh, the thermometer on a, here on a bike, it shows 31 uh, Celsius. So it is quite warm since I have uh, four days off. I decided to to go for a ride. So I'm approaching Kenmore and I will try to grab something to drink, something cold and then I carry on most likely so I grab a iced coffee at Timmy's or ice cup I should say It's a beautiful and clear day from far away uh, before I got uh, to Exha it wasn't looking as clear on the horizon but uh, even though I knew the weather is gonna be good but sometimes like there's a smoke fire or whatever and the air quality isn't clear enough well it's clear but uh, it's smoky or, or maybe I should scrap the idea of going to Abraham Lake and take that route over there all the way up that's a nice drive as well Except uh, it is warm, I, I don't like to get on off-road when it's that hot. So I just had a nice ice cap at Tim Hortons, I cooled myself off a little bit on this hot day. 34 degrees at this moment and it is a uh, quarter to two. So it is warm today, but uh, the scenery out here is always, always spectacular. Now, it doesn't matter how many times you drive through here, it is beautiful. After just recently coming back from uh, Utah, 
I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't say that uh, our nice uh, mountains are nicer. No way. Uh, the sceneries out there are just, just stunning. So if you haven't seen my videos uh, from there, uh, just before this one, uh, there's a whole series that I have released uh, pretty much day by day as we left uh, Calgary through Montana, Idaho and then to Utah. On the way back uh, we went to Bonneville Salt Flats. Uh, so that was an amazing trip. And uh, yeah, it was hot out there, like it was crazy hot. So here now, uh, going through the mountains, I do have a lighter jacket, which is a mess jacket, but since uh, every time I go through the mountains, I don't take the chance because you never know when you're gonna get hit with the rain or snow even, because uh, uh, for example, a couple years, I was riding uh, here in uh, July and at higher elevations toward Jasper, it actually started to snow. So the mesh jacket would be very useless and uh, even though for most of the ride would be okay, but uh, in situations where you got rain and snow, uh, yeah, I'd rather wear this one, open all, open all the vents and uh, so uh, just uh, passing Banff on my, the town of Banff on my left side. Uh, there is another way of getting to Abraham Lake, but uh, that would be gravel and uh, I didn't want it today. As I see quite a few riders actually today, even though it is a Thursday. Yes, but those wind deflectors, they do their right job. It's much more quieter. It's not 100% obviously, but uh, I don't have that wind hitting my helmet uh, from the bottom because it was before. So I'm just uh, before Lake Louise here and uh, pretty soon I will be turning on Highway 93. This is uh, always a nice spot to get it checked out on the way. A lot of tourists are stopping here. Uh, yeah, it's a nice view. In the back you got a castle mountains. There we go. Maybe I'll step out to the side here. So that's on my right here in front of me the castle mountain as I showed you before. Up ahead I can still see snow on top of the mountains. Here's a little bit but uh, I have a feeling once I turn off on 93 it's usually that area it's a little bit cooler and uh, there is gonna be more snow over there. And for those of you that are, that are not from around Alberta uh, that's uh, on the way to Glacier there is the perfect view of castle. Beautiful, that river is so blue. It uh, feels almost like it's an ocean in Mexico. The same color, turquoise. Check out how much snow is still at Lake Louise. Wow. And that's where my turn of is, uh, 93. 
one and a half kilometers and that's where we go towards the Columbia ice field which is the glacier maybe some construction people are chilling on the lake it must be quite cold to swim in there It is almost uh, 3 o'clock now and I have 86 kilometers to go It's still quite thick layers of snow on the peaks there some places are pretty thick I don't think that's that will melt by the end of the summer and then over winter a new new pile comes in that looks almost like it's a glacier over there So that lake here up ahead it's a bow lake quite amazing quite amazing wow And they all so spectacular out here. When it's when the sun is shining, that water looks amazing, amazing. So I just filled up again just in case if there will be no other gas stations on the way to when I return or if this one is gonna close because that might be later and those little gas stations you never know if they're gonna stay open all night or they close I did travel the other stretch of 93 all the way to Jasper and many times but for some reason I never made it out here look at that there is a bear there's a bear right there he's looking at me hello bear Ooh. I pull over here. Crossing the road, running across. There he goes. I knew I gonna find one around here. There's always bears here in this area, at least uh, on 93. 
I've seen it so many times. Pretty cool. <laughs> So we are in a bear country, that's for sure. But actually, this is the first one that I have seen this year. And again, I didn't uh, travel as much as I normally do the, to Waterton National Park. Um, I haven't been diving as much uh, as I used to. Uh, I used to go pretty much every two weeks to Lake Waterton and dive and uh, we would see bears pretty much quite regularly out there. Seventeen kilometers to go. Almost there. So the water has a totally different color out here. It's sort of like, uh, I don't know, grayish or it's almost uh, as there is a lot of mud in that water or something. So now I'm gonna have a dilemma, which way I will go back home to Calgary through Rocky Mountain House or should just turn around and uh, go back the same way I came in. So guys, finally I made it to Lake Abraham or Abraham Lake, however you want to call it, I don't know. Didn't see even the uh, actual sign anywhere, but uh, the GPS took me here. There's a very nice camping here that I just find out, so something may be considered to take my daughter out here and go camping. And uh, what explains uh, now why the water was so gray everywhere, because it's uh, clay. Uh, so we have a clay here on the bottom and uh, that makes it uh, all gray so it's clean but uh, at the same time with a little bit of sand it is but uh, i'm pretty sure if uh, i'm gonna bring my daughter here she's gonna have a blast uh, uh, swimming or even uh, go on a paddle board here in the back i'm not sure if that's gonna be visible because that will be against the sun so there we go there's mountains in the back <laughs> So there's a nice shade from that direction, but uh, the area right here in front of me, it's uh, wide open and uh, nice sun. So that's kind of crazy to drive uh, almost 350 kilometers, almost four hours with all the stops that I did. I didn't have to, but uh, why rush it? Uh, it was a nice ride uh, through the mountains. So now I'm gonna wrap it up slowly and start going home. Right now it's uh, five o'clock actually, like uh, 10 to five. So by the time I get home, <laughs> it's gonna be maybe like nine o'clock possibly. And uh, it's pretty much the same distance whether I go through Rocky Mountain House. Uh, the, I think the difference is about 30 kilometers so when, I, when I was checking on a GPS, 30 kilometers shorter going back the same way as I came in, which is gonna be probably no brainer and do that one. I've been uh, by Rocky Mountain House before and uh, this is actually way more scenic route so might as well take it this way. Anyways if you liked today's video don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you didn't. 
and I'll see you guys in the next video.